guys. I suppose one of the biggest things, first of all, I want to say is thank you to all those who voted uh, in the referendum. We're absolutely delighted and so excited for the opportunities that lie ahead. Over 78.78% of you voted in favour of a project that I know you well students believe in. We now have a fantastic opportunity moving forward um, to have your input heard into what you think should be going into a new student centre. And the new support facilities that we're going to have is going to benefit every single person on campus for all those who want to use it. Hi you guys. Since we did our last video, it's been really busy here. Um, we've had Charity Week, which I hope you all really enjoyed. Um, our four charities were really impressed with all of the money you helped us raise. Um, just as a reminder, this year they were the Corbett Suicide Friendship Patrol, the Bumblins, which is the National Children's Ambulance, the Blood Bike Groups of Ireland, and the St. Vincent Paul Drop-In Centre in town. We will be having a check presentation in the next few weeks, so just keep an ear out um, if you'd like to attend. This year we had a fantastic charity week, probably one of the best we've had in years. Um, big thanks to Keith in events and everybody who worked, um, and Kira especially as well, who, um, who was liaising with the charities. We had events like um, Christian Air or Hodor in the Stables, we had the Academic in Dahi. Um, we also had Professor Green, um, which turned out to be a really fantastic night. Hey guys, so there's been a lot of big things happening in the Union since the last time I was talking to you. I've been working on two big campaigns. The first of which is the Student Choice Awards. So this is a set of awards that recognises the hard work that our students do while studying in UL, um, when they go abo above and beyond for their fellow classmates or in a sport um, or um, making a difference. Um, these awards will hopefully continue next year. We had a fantastic night and we had four deserving winners. Um, a few weeks ago we also had a really, really important mental health week. It was absolutely fantastic and thank you all so much for getting involved. We had well over 200, 250 people at breakfast with Brezzy in the arena. Um, we had over 300 people at the walk and talk event in town with Mary I and LIT as a fundraiser for Pieta House. Um, our 24 hour cycle against suicide was absolutely brilliant. Um, the two bikes were going for nearly the full 24 hours and um, across the week almost 800 extra euro was raised. Um, We've also had um, the Pay It Forward campaign, Road Safety Week campaign, um, and next week is obviously de-stress and exam prep week for your study week. Um, I've also been working on a few other different projects here with um, the Connecting for Life National Suicide Prevention Strategy with the HSC, um, the REACT um, Drug Policy with the University, and an EPUB online intervention tool for alcohol use, um, which will all hopefully be up and running by the end of the year or September. Something that we've been working on all year is fighting for increased services in the counselling department. Last semester we got 20 hours initially interim funding to try and alleviate the pressure on the waiting list. What I'm delighted to say is that we've now got a new deputy full-time head of counselling position going to be appointed from next September onwards. This will hopefully make a difference to hundreds of students in UL and we're really, really happy about it. The second campaign that I've been working on is the Shannon campaign. This is a campaign run with the students' unions in DIT and DCU in which we're highlighting the fact that not all of the graduates of all the universities and ITs have a vote for the university panel um, for the Shannon. Um, this campaign is ongoing at the moment, so if you have, haven't seen it on Facebook, give it a like. And we've also been fortunate enough for the university to grant um, approval for a new full-time deputy head of counselling, which is absolutely fantastic. Interviews are being held at the moment, so we'll hopefully have even less of a waiting list come September. Um, we've also been doing all of the normal run-of-the-mill stuff. The um, financial aid fund is still going, student assistance fund and childcare bursaries have both closed and are assessed. Um, and I'm so delighted to have so many of you dropping in to say hello, um, different queries, so just remember that our doors are always open and please call in to say hello. Another thing we've been working on this year is the development of the University of Limerick Students Union Strategic Plan. Now this plan is a four year plan that identifies four key pillars and 31 objectives in order for us to try and improve the student experience and the services that we provide. We had the opportunity to uh, deliver this, um, to present this strategic plan to governing authority and this was very, very well received by the university. Um, what this plan will look to do is have an operational plan annually that will take into account new sabbaticals coming in and their ideas and their mandate they've received from students. So hopefully this plan will really just improve the continuity of the union. Um, so we're really excited about it. We also had sabbatical elections this year and I'm delighted to welcome in Sarah, Keelan and Donald. I'm sure they'll all do a fantastic job and they've got a really, really exciting time ahead. 
So that's it for this month, guys. Um, best of luck to all of those uh, who are taking the upcoming exams. Remember, don't stress out too much. Um, we caught into the Students' Union. We'll be doing uh, some de-stress tips, some handing out some free coffee and stuff like that. So to all of you, good luck.